Today's video is going to give you the top five tips to improve your offense overnight in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are basically talking about the top five things that you can do to improve your offense in Madden 18. And the first tip that I have for you is run one to two formations at the most. And the reason I say that, a lot of people push back on me and they say, you know, Cody, you don't you don't have enough variety. You're just a bum. You're just going to want to run play all game. You, all you want to do, you know, you just want to take people for granted, you know, all these things. There's a very specific reason why I actually recommend running one play, or not one play, one formation all game and, and using this philosophy. The biggest thing that I could tell you and the biggest reason that I recommend this is because it, it's it's similar to the defensive aspect of making everything look the same. You want everything to look the same so that he can't tell he can't tell right now what I'm running. He has no clue. Um, you know, I could be running several different things, but if I only ran the bunch like once every now and then, it's a lot easier to uh, to figure out what I'm actually going to run because you're just going to guard the popular things. However, if I'm using you know a power and counter philosophy, which basically says you want to have one play that goes one direction, and then you want to you want to establish that, establish that, establish that, and then you want to be able to check into something else. If I'm running that philosophy, then what happens is that it, once you do it from the same formation over and over again, and if you're using those philosophies, it makes it very very difficult for the the defense to adjust to the offense. So that's why I recommend running this running the same one to two formations. I like to have one formation if possible, but oftentimes the red zone makes that a little bit different. So I like to have basically a shotgun set and then a running heavy under, under center set for the goal line. The fourth tip that I have on this is reading the defense. And basically what you want to do is you want to ask yourself the question, what is the defense probably doing? And then how can I adapt to it? So right here, crowding the front, he can, and, and here you want to look at the linebackers so I know that I'm probably going to get pressure off the right side. And I threw it, but the guy didn't freaking catch the ball. But I know right there, I'm probably getting pressure from the right side. He ended up blitzing all, all the linebackers. So I should have been able to hit that right flat. I just I didn't throw the ball. Okay, I didn't throw it soon enough. So that's that's kind of what you want to look at when you're reading the defense. We have a video on my YouTube channel right now. If you go to my channel, it's it was just posted how to read the defense in Madden 18. You could check that out. It's going to give you all those tips, everything you need to know. But make reading the defense a priority. I find most people, whenever they try to read the defense, they say, you know, Cody, I can't read the defense. It's normally because they're not trying. Uh, reading the defense is not knowing exactly what they're going to do every time. Reading the defense is, is making an effort to know what they're doing. Okay, making an effort. You cannot 100% know, but you can have a hypothesis. You can, you can try. And uh, I highly uh, encourage you to do that. The third tip on our offensive series is to utilize post routes or corner routes as your main go-to routes. I think this is critical. Uh, a lot of people, dang it, I got sacked. A lot of people don't do this. They, they use, they just don't understand um, the importance of it because those are only, those are the only routes you can't hot route you know, post corners, and then there's some very unique things that you'll get from formation to formation. But that's why I like the bunch so much because if, and the other key on this is don't just use, don't just use post and corners, but use them off one another. So the reason that I recommend running Z spot and PA post in combination when I'm running this bunch wide is because the C route is the inverse of the power route, which is the, um, excuse me, which is the, um, the, the Z spot route. Okay. So that's why I recommend it. Okay. It's not because I just, you know, it's not because they're the best routes in the game. It's because in my opinion, they work really well off of one another, as opposed to some of the other routes that I've seen, because they look exactly the same. It's similar to having that same formation. You also want to have those routes look the same because if they go to user control it, they're not going to know whether or not it's a corner or a post, they're not going to know. Okay. That's why I, I really, really highly suggest using post and corner routes in combination. The second, uh, number two tip on this is throw the ball away before throwing it before making a bad pass. Oftentimes the reason we make and throw interceptions is because we get nervous and we get rushed and hurried 
Do not do that. Okay. Do not do that. Fight that habit. Habit. When in a hurry, it is crucial that you don't throw it. As I get dotted over the top there, it is critical and crucial that you don't throw the interception. You throw it away. Okay. Because what most people do is they say, you know what? I do this a lot with Z spot. If the post route has not come open yet, if the timing's not right, but the pressure's coming in, I will throw it. Oftentimes that results in an interception. It's better to just throw the ball away. Live to fight another down. Second and 10 is a lot better than second and 17. Second and 17 is a lot better than throwing an interception. So if you, worst comes to worst, take the sack. Don't throw the interception. I, I feel much better um, limiting turnovers. Because when you turn the ball over, it is, it is a nightmare to get out of. Because the defense, it puts the defense in such a big hole. Then um, the last, the, the number one tip I have for you when it comes to offense in Madden 18, though, is to focus on execution, not on information. So offense this year, offense really every year, normally has a little bit of an advantage compared to the defense. And there's reason for it. See, like right there, take the sack, don't throw it. Like I was, Z spot hadn't come open yet. And there was other routes that were open. And that's where another thing, your, your timing is really important when you're playing offense. But um, but anyways, back to that last tip I want to give you. Focus on execution over information. Because the problem is, if you're not careful, what you will do, just like what I used to do, is you will... Go and search Madden 18 Money Play on YouTube, and what's going to happen is you're just going to start adding all these plays. And what will happen, and this is why I recommend one formation, you'll run the same play from trips tight end that you run from bunch. It's the same play. The only difference, okay, the only difference is that you run it several, several different formations. But it's the same play. And the reason I harp on that and make it such a big deal is because it's it's just a killer. Because what happens is you're so focused on information that you can't implement anything that you know. Oh, that was a bad read. That was stupid. David Johnson can't make that play. But but you see what I'm saying there? Hang with me here for, for just a little bit longer as I finish this up. It is, it is so important that you don't do that. It's the number one mistake I see being made. By far, the, the mistake people make on offense, and I think you can learn a lot from people, what people do wrong more from what people do right. The mistake that people make on offense, guys, if I was honest with you, is they try to do too much. They try to do too much from too many formations, and they can't actually apply it. Because the key to offense is not your play calling. I really believe in this quote from from Vince Lombardi because I used to be huge into that. What Vince Lombardi said was the coaches who can diagram plays on a chalkboard are a dime a dozen, which basically means a lot of people can do that. The coaches that truly are going to win are the ones who get inside of their players and motivate it and motivate them to execute. What he's basically saying, focus on execution over information. What he's, what, again, I challenge you guys to not take in so much um, from a play calling standpoint and focus more on how you can improve your mental ability to execute your plays under pressure. And you do that through practice. And in my opinion, you do that through eliminating a lot of the stuff that comes with playing Madden. So I hope this video was helpful for you. These are my top five tips to improve your offense overnight in Madden 18. If you would like more on the offensive side, I would recommend you purchase my offensive ebook. Um, I talk a lot about this. I give you an exact formation playbook breakdown, everything that you need so that it takes the thinking out of it and it really allows you to implement over create. Okay, you don't have to create. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to execute the system. So this offensive ebook will give you that. Um, and then also I have a uh, combination guide where you can buy the offense and defense for $10 uh, less than they would be if you bought them separately. So hopefully, um, hopefully that can give you some tools that you can utilize to be better 
on the offensive side in Madden 18. I, I truly hope that this video has been helpful for you. And if it has, then do me a favor and be sure to share the video with someone letting them